Hey everyone, Nerion here. Welcome to a brand new series, Citizen Bytes, your quick and concise source for the latest news and updates from Star Citizen. Now I know generally my channel has been about those quirky indie games and terrifying indie horror titles as well, but for the first time today we're going to be diving into the vast and sometimes equally terrifying universe of Star Citizen. After all, Floating through the dark void of space can be just as spooky as any haunted house, right? Plus, I've got some exciting Star Citizen content lined up for you, starting with today's episode of the new Ursa Medivac. So strap in, let's get into it. So in this episode, we're going to be diving into the recent Q&A about the Ursa Medivac, the Medrover that's here to save your sorry butt when things go south on the ground. Let's break down what the devs had to say with a sprinkle of a little humor in there just to keep you entertained. Key differences in features. Uh, medical equipment. So yes, the Ursa Medivac comes with a standard tier 3 med bed and a remote station, only taking up half the rear space. Because nothing says frontline medical support, like cutting your cargo space in half for a bed you hope you'll never need. The size? Well, it's the same size as your regular Ursa Rover, which means it will fit in all the same places, so no worries for any awkward parking attempts. Armor and defense. Uh, good news here is that the Medivac does come with slightly more armor than the base Ursa. Because the only thing worse than getting injured is getting injured and then blown up on your way to the hospital. Now, it's not a tank, but it can take a few more hits. Plus, it keeps that twin CF-117 Bulldog laser repeaters for those pesky situations where diplomacy fails. Now, gameplay applications. So, here we're just going to cover the death of the Spaceman. Now, the Medivac's respawn capabilities are part of the larger death of a spaceman framework it sounds fancy but basically it's a system that's going to make dying and coming back to life a lot more dramatic and meaningful currently you can respawn but get ready for things like regeneration degradation and inheritance more reasons to avoid dying in the first place fantastic now when it comes to practical features uh, and we look at things such as speed and mobility, it is a bit slower than the base Ursa because of course the extra armor. So you know, if you're in a rush, maybe avoid getting shot at in the first place. When it comes to the storage, uh, it does have personal storage, weapons racks, uh, the med bed of course, and a jump seat. Basically all the essentials for a day in the field minus the picnic basket. Now. Radars and sensors are the same as the Ursa Rover, no fancy upgrades here, so if you're lost, you're, you're still lost, but with medical support. Now when it comes to customization, tires, engines, and transmissions are swappable between the Ursa, Lynx, and Medivac. Ground vehicles are catching up to spaceships in the customization department, and yes, you can switch up the paints, you can look good while saving lives. Now, when it comes to the design choices, uh, the lighting and sirens, uh, despite my longing for a searchlight to find casualties like some sort of space age ambulance, they stuck with the turret for defense. Makes sense, but still, a little part of me does mourn for those dramatic nighttime rescue scenes. So, in conclusion, the Ursa Medivac is a solid addition to the Star Citizen universe. It's a blend of medical prowess and battlefield durability. Kind of like if your local paramedics drove armored SUVs. As the death of a spaceman system evolves, its role in gameplay will grow, offering new strategies for managing health and respawn mechanics. Well, that's all for today's episode of Citizen Bites. Now remember, you don't need to read any of the dev updates that I'll be covering. Um, I'll be doing it for you, but of course I will leave a link if you do decide you want to check it out. Of course, we'll also try to make it a little bit of fun and entertaining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay informed on the latest developments. All feedback on my new series is greatly welcome, so also, you know, throw in the comments uh, any thoughts you have about this new series, and also your thoughts about the new Ursa Medivac. Fly safe, citizens, and may your Medivac never run out of gas. I have once again been a non-professional gamer. That's a wrap.